Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Just another day to learn new things and improve ourselves. So let's go. I'm going to show you how to import into a flat list. Then later on, I will show you how to import into a numbered list. So classification list is the list that we're going to import into. So let's open it and let's hit import here and upload new file and then click on the classification file underplant only accepts csvs or dot text files it's not gonna accept excel so if you want to import something you need to save it as a csv or dot text then import so now this is the mapping area uh as you can see here row is one and first there are row is two if it was otherwise you can change it accordingly and set default file i'm gonna keep it private but if you were working with other people then you can decide to set it to admins only or everyone so let's click on next and as you can see it's already marked but always check just to make sure uh, and I'm gonna just set it to code only usually by default it's on name or code but I'm gonna set it to code only since I know those are unique codes and I'm gonna just run import as you can see this is run and successful these are the two list members here so now we're done with the flat list and so this s3 student is going to be a number list the reason being is that we might have two students with the same name therefore we want anna plant to assign each list member a unique id so that if there are two students with the same name they can be imported if you will set that list as a regular list then the second student with a similar name basically the duplicate names it will only accept one and reject the other so that's why if you know that a list will have duplicates and you want those duplicates to be imported make sure that you set that list as a number list so let's change the naming convention and add the hashtag so that anybody building in this model can know that it's a numbered list. And let's click this check mark to set it as the number list. And then we're going to open it. And once we open it, we're going to go to properties tab and insert. And we're going to name this property screen name. And we can put it at the start but if you have several display names for one reason or the other then you can click the order but in this case we have one and this only format it as a list or text so i'm gonna format this as text so once i'm done with that i can go back to general list and set the display name here and so this, once you open it, you are seeing it like this, but in the back end, there is a number assigned for each one. I will show you later. Um, so let's hit import and new file. And then we're gonna use the students one and I'm gonna keep it private here I'm gonna go next and so over here code the yeah, is assigned to code uh, column three parent and then this display name we're gonna make it a student name over here you don't have to do anything at all you never have to do anything when it comes to number list leave it blank because anaplan has already assigned a unique id 
So let's click on run import. And as you can see, there are errors because I mistyped the um, I mistyped the major name. So if I was to go in the source file and change the name, uh, it will import successfully. So let me go back and find the source, and then. Um, go and update the data and I will re-import it again and as you can see these were imported but they are not going to be assigned to any parents because I misspelled the name of the parent so as soon as I change, uh, change the name and I update the name and add an A to international, I will re-import it again. And it should map to where it's supposed to map. Import it's marked properly in okay, so it succeeded. As you can see, those ones that were not marked before are now marked. And so on this person, Jackly, what I was telling you before that Anna Plant assigned the unique ID, let me just clear this display name. And once you are clear it, you will see there will be just a number that's assigned to um, each individualist member. So let me put Jackly back. And once I put Jackly back, you can see that's what will appear here as a display name so that end users can be able to identify the names of each person and also the other thing you need to notice is that there are two students with the name hannah lewis there is this student and then there is another student so this is probably a number two um in the back end if i clear this for example yeah actually it's a number 10. Uh, that's a unique id that was assigned that's how we can have two people with the same name but different id you know different code so now it's just imported and everything looks good and you can be ready to use this list as a dimension in any of your modules Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk soon. Bye.